So we have a ladder that's leaning against a wall. It's a 10-foot ladder. And if the top of the ladder slides down the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second, how fast is the bottom moving along the ground when the bottom of the ladder is 5 feet away from the wall? Okay. So what rate are we given? We're given uh, 2 feet per second is how fast the top of this ladder is sliding down this wall. So if we define a variable for the distance from the ground to the top of the ladder here along the wall, say maybe y, then this 2 feet per second is how fast y is changing with respect to time, or dy dt equals 2. Now you'll notice that y, the value of y is decreasing as time goes on because this ladder is sliding downward. So 2 should actually be negative. Okay, what we want is how fast the bottom of this ladder is moving. So if we define this variable here as the distance between the wall and the bottom of the ladder, what we're trying to find is dx dt, how fast x is changing. As always, we need to find a way to relate these two variables in the rates that we have and the rates that we're given. Fortunately, we have the Pythagorean theorem, and also we're told that this ladder is a constant 10 feet long. So the Pythagorean theorem says... And if we want to relate our rates of y and x, dy dt and dx dt, we need to take a derivative of both sides of this with respect to time. That involves implicit differentiation and the chain rule. We can simplify by dividing both sides of this equation by 2. And OK, we have our equation relating our two rates. dy dt is given. Uh, I don't think we have y yet. Uh, dx dt is what we're trying to find. Um, and x they actually give us at this moment that we're trying to relate these two rates. The um, bottom of the ladder is 5 feet from the wall. That means x equals 5. We're going to plug in x equals 5 here, but we also need to know y. Fortunately, we have this Pythagorean theorem equation. And at the moment, x equals 5, we can solve for y. All right, I got that y was the square root of 75. Now we can plug all of our knowns into this equation, and we'll be finished. OK, I plugged everything into our equation. Um, I moved this term over to the right side of the equation. I need to divide by 5. Um, this can be reduced. We can say that 75 is 25 times 3. And the only reason I would do that is because I recognize that this square root of 25 is going to cancel with this 5, and it's just going to leave us with 2 root 3. This might be the simplified answer in the back of your book, but if you just want to use a calculator to get an approximation anyway, uh, the answer is going to be 3.46, and I believe that's feet per second. But I'm going to check those units. Uh, yes, we're dealing with feet per second. I think 3.6 is a number that is reasonable. Um, it's positive because the base of this ladder is moving away from the wall. That's uh, expanding x. It's making x bigger. So I think that answer looks great. And I think we're finished.